We are going to discuss something very important. There's a quote from Buya Hamka, who once said, If living is merely about surviving, even wild boars live. If working is merely about working, even monkeys in the forest work. It may sound simple, but these words carry a profound meaning. Many of us live just to get by, not to truly live an extraordinary life. And do you know why? One of the main reasons is that we are often controlled by things we could actually let go of. In this video, we will explore five things that frequently control our lives and that we need to let go of if we want to achieve true freedom and live an exceptional life. So, make sure to watch until the end, because what we're about to discuss could be the first step toward a significant transformation in your life. 1. The Past Let's start with the first thing that often controls our lives, the past. Friends, each of us has a story from the past. Some of those stories may be beautiful, but others may have left deep wounds. The problem is, many of us unconsciously allow the past to control our future. Whatever happened in the past, whether it was failure, loss, or pain, let it go. Your past is a lesson, not a punishment. If you keep reliving it, you are only hurting yourself. Think about this. Every time you hold on to resentment or pain, who really wins? The person or event from your past. If you continue to live as a victim, you only give them power. But if you choose to forgive and let go, you are the one who wins. Starting today, release the burden from your shoulders. Focus on what you can do now, in this moment, because your future is still within your control. Remember friends, your past does not define your future. What defines it are the steps you take today. So, have the courage to move forward and create a new light for your life. 2. The Opinions of Others Now, let's discuss the second thing that often controls our lives, the opinions of others. How many times have you delayed or even cancelled something just because you were afraid of what others might think of you? We live in a world where the judgments of others often feel like a heavy burden. We want to be accepted, we want to be seen in a good light, but sometimes that makes us forget what we truly want. When you let others' opinions control your life, you stop being yourself. You become a shadow of what others expect you to be. But remember, friends, you weren't born to fit into someone else's expectations. You were born to be your true self. Before making a decision or taking action, ask yourself, is this really what I want, or am I just trying to please others? Those who truly care about you won't try to dim your light. They'll support you in shining in your own unique way. So don't let the voices of others be louder than your inner voice. Be brave enough to be yourself, because only you know what's best for your life. Your life is too precious to be controlled by the opinions of others. 3. Limiting Beliefs The third thing that often holds us back from living an extraordinary life is limiting beliefs. What are limiting beliefs? They are the negative thoughts we instill in ourselves or that others have planted in us. Phrases like, I can't, I'm not good enough, or this is too hard, often become walls that block us from reaching our true potential. Imagine you want to climb a mountain, but you keep telling yourself you're not capable. Without realizing it, that thought becomes the biggest obstacle. Not the mountain, not the terrain, but your own mind. One thing you must understand is that your beliefs shape your reality. When you believe you can, the world will open doors that were previously invisible. But if you continue to limit yourself, you won't even try. Starting now, challenge every negative belief within you. Transform statements like, I can't, into, I can't yet, but I'm willing to learn. Because the truth is, your potential is far greater than you realize. When you let go of limiting beliefs, you open yourself up to limitless possibilities. Remember friends, God created us with extraordinary potential. Don't let your own mind become the greatest barrier in your life. So, release those limitations, believe in yourself, and watch how your life transforms for the better. 4. Romantic Relationships The next thing that often controls our lives is romantic relationships. Love is a powerful force. But if you believe your happiness depends entirely on being in a relationship with someone, you may be giving too much control over your life to someone else. Many people feel they need to be with someone to be happy, but what happens if the relationship doesn't go as planned, or if that person leaves? This kind of dependence only makes you vulnerable to disappointment and loss. This doesn't mean relationships aren't important, but a healthy relationship is about sharing happiness, not seeking it. True happiness comes from within, not from someone else. So, instead of looking for someone to make you happy, focus on becoming someone who is happy. When you're happy with yourself, you'll naturally attract the right person into your life. Remember, a good relationship is about mutual support, not mutual burden. Never feel like you have to sacrifice your happiness or dreams to maintain an unhealthy relationship. If you're currently single, 
Use this time to deepen your love for yourself. And if you're in a relationship, make sure it's a place where you can grow together, not feel stuck together. Five, money. The final thing that often controls our lives is money. There's no denying that money is an important part of life. But the problem is, many people let money be the sole reason behind their decisions. We often believe that more money means more happiness. Yet how many stories have we heard of people who have everything materially, but still feel empty? The issue isn't the money itself, but how we treat it. Never let money be the main determinant of your life. Are you working just for money or to bring value to others? Are your decisions based on numbers or on what truly matters to you? The key is balance. Of course, we must be wise in managing money, but don't let the ambition for more money make you forget the things that truly matter. Family, health, friendship, and happiness. Remember, money is a tool to help you achieve your goals, not the goal itself. Use your money for good, to help others, and to create a positive impact. When you work wholeheartedly and give your best, money will come as a result, not as your primary motivation. No matter how little you have, be grateful. Because true happiness doesn't come from how much money you have, but from how you use it for meaningful things. Conclusion. Life is a journey full of challenges, but also rich with opportunities. When we free ourselves from the control of limiting factors, the past, the opinions of others, limiting beliefs, unhealthy relationships, and an obsession with money, we open the door to a life that is freer, more meaningful, and more fulfilling. This journey isn't about perfection, but about growth. Start now, take control of your life, make choices that bring you closer to true happiness. See you in the next video. Remember, you have the power to create an extraordinary life. Be the best version of yourself.